the Triangular Corporation of Afghanistan, Indonesia, Germany, for the Economic Empowerment of Women, or in short, TRICO, was milestone from an MOU between Indonesia and Afghanistan in 2013 through 2018, and a partnership between Indonesia, Germany, on Strengthening Women's Rights Project, SWR, in 2010 through 2017. TRICO rejoined and strengthened the two bilateral partnerships into a triangular corporation among Afghanistan, Indonesia, Germany. About TRICO Project. The project is for 15 months, started in April 2019 through July 2020, with commissioned budget from BMZ of 180,000 euro. TRICO's project goal is concepts for the economic empowerment of women in conditions of conservative patriarchal societies have been deepened by the triangular cooperation. Modality of cooperation and key stakeholders. Triangular cooperation. Referring to the modality of triangular cooperation, the roles of key stakeholders are defined as below. Indonesia, the pivotal partner, has proven experience and shares its resources, knowledge, and expertise. Afghanistan, the beneficiary partner, is the target development results to be achieved, shall be in line with its national development priorities and needs. It is responsible for ensuring that results are sustainable. Germany, the facilitator partner, helps to connect countries and or organizations to form a triangular partnership. Key stakeholders of TRICO are 1. The Ministry of Women Empowerment and Child Protection, Indonesia 2. The Ministry of Women Affairs, Afghanistan 3. The Government of Germany through the German Corporation for International Cooperation, or GIZ In coordination with National Coordination Team of South-South Cooperation, Indonesia NCTSSC Indonesia. The NCTSSC, which consists of four ministries, namely Ministry of Foreign Affairs, National Development Planning, BAPINAS, Ministry of State Secretariat, and Ministry of Finance, serves as the national focal point of contact in delivering SSTC in Indonesia. It also coordinates SSTC programs from technical line ministries, connects and formulates cooperation with the development partners and plays roles in monitoring and evaluating the implementation of SSTC program. Now, back to the goal and how to reach the goal of TRICO project. To achieve TRICO's project goal, there are four indicators. Indicator 1, four best practices for the economic empowerment of women in Afghanistan are discussed in Afghanistan. Indicator 2. Based on best practices discussed, a concept for the economic for the empowerment of women in conditions of conservative patriarchal societies is mutually developed by the Ministry of Women Empowerment and Child Protection Indonesia and the Ministry of Women Affairs Afghanistan. Indicator 3. The concept for the economic empowerment of women under conditions of conservative patriarchal societies is presented to at least two potential supporters for upscaling. Indicator 4. The NCT has drawn conclusions from the Afghanistan-Indonesia-Germany triangular cooperation on women economic empowerment for the practice of Indonesian SSTC. How to achieve the indicators. To achieve the above indicators, TRICO has two direct exchanges attended by all key stakeholders, which are 1. Yogyakarta Exchange in July 2019 2. Lombok Exchange in November 2019 The first exchange in Yogyakarta contributed directly to Indicator 1 of TRICO. During the first exchange, eight principles and best practices on women economic empowerment through home industry were presented discussed and agreed between the Ministry of Women Affairs, Afghanistan, and the Ministry of Women Empowerment and Child Protection, Indonesia. 
The Yogyakarta Exchange indicated the good practice of multi-stakeholder partnership in Trico, signified by the involvement of diverse stakeholders from women's community groups, individuals, national and local CSOs, and business practitioners. Moving forward, the eight best principles and practices on women economic empowerment through home industry agreed during the first exchange was then used as reference at the second exchange in Lombok in November in 2019. The second exchange was contributed directly to Indicator 2 of Trico. During the second exchange, the one concept on women economic empowerment through home industry was jointly drafted by the Ministry of Women Empowerment and Child Protection Indonesia and the Ministry of Women Affairs Afghanistan for possible discussion and exercise in Afghanistan. Upon having the agreed draft one concept, the Ministry of Women Affairs Afghanistan later used it as reference to present to potential donors in Afghanistan. The presentation to potential donors by the Ministry of Women Affairs Afghanistan contributed directly to Indicator 3 of Trico. Presentation of one concept to potential donors in Afghanistan. The presentation of one concept took place in series events. Firstly, on the 4th of December 2019, attended by 30 people representatives of key ministries, including representative of President Office, international NGOs. Secondly, on the 30th of December 2019, to explore funding possibilities, and thirdly, on the 15th of January 2020, attended by 17 people, including directors of planning and programming of key ministries, representatives from civil society, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, and Women's Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Another concrete action taken by the Ministry of Women Affairs Afghanistan is the coordination between Director of Women Empowerment and Director of Land Use Department and Ministry of Finance to support the Ministry of Women Affairs Afghanistan in the establishment of Processing and Packaging Center for Women in Hazrat Sultan District. Such a great commitment from the Ministry of Women Affairs Afghanistan. All actions taken by the Ministry of Women Affairs Afghanistan upon series exchange within Trico were reported virtually to the steering due to COVID-19 pandemic. Virtual exchange also took place to discuss and agree to the conclusion paper, which captures the achievements, lessons learned, challenges, and recommendations taken from Trico for the practice of SSTC in Indonesia. The conclusion paper contributes directly to Indicator 4 of TRICO. How is the monitoring and evaluation of TRICO project? TRICO is monitored through its steering meeting, which has been agreed to be conducted back-to-back -back with each exchange. The member of steering meeting comprises of Ministry of Women Empowerment and Child Protection Bureau of Planning and Data and Assistant to Deputy for Gender Equality and Economics. Ministry of Women Affairs Afghanistan, represented by the delegates or relevant focal point, and the joint Indonesian-German project on triangular cooperation Afghanistan-Indonesia-Germany for the Economic Empowerment of Women, GIZ Trico. The steering also welcomes GIZ OPAF Afghanistan, Ministry of State Secretary Indonesia, and other representatives from NCT SSC Indonesia. The steering meeting functions to 1. Provide strategic guidance and direction to the project interventions. 2. Oversee the work of the project and considering its progress from a policy level. 3. Monitor, assess and serve as quality assurance of project results. and 4. Furthering mutual accountability. The steering meeting is regularly discussed, reviewed and affirmed the plan of operation the cost-sharing ratio, the stakeholders map, and the progress updates. TRICO with its achievements. Project-wise, all four project indicators are achieved. Indicator 1 was achieved through the agreed eight principles and best practices on women economic empowerment 
through home industry. Indicator 2 was achieved through the one concept for the economic for the empowerment of women in conditions of conservative patriarchal societies is mutually developed by the Ministry of Women Empowerment and Child Protection Indonesia and the Ministry of Women Affairs Afghanistan. Indicator 3 was achieved through series events of presenting one concept to potential donors in Afghanistan and exercising one concept in Samangan and Hazrat Sultan District, led by the Ministry of Women Affairs Afghanistan. Indicator 4 was achieved through the conclusion paper of TRICO, with which the practice of TRICO, including its achievements, lessons learned, challenges are used as reference for the practice of SSTC in Indonesia. Additionally, TRICO also signifies the achievement by the Ministry of Women Empowerment and Child Protection Indonesia with the Seven Steps paper to develop home-based industry, reflection from Indonesia's experiences on women's economic empowerment. The Seven Steps paper is a concrete proof that TRICO is able to be the modality partnership which provides room for self-reflection and create joint learning. Congratulations for the innovation to Indonesia! And here is more about TRICO. There are more achievements that would pave the way for a more concrete partnership in the future. 1. Stronger partnership is real. TRICO helps to forge stronger partnership among all participating countries and entities, a multifaceted and diverse stakeholders from the subnational, national and international. 2. TRICO proves to be a well-exercised multi-stakeholder partnership. Complementary for the newly launched of the Guidelines of Multi-Stakeholder Partnership by 2030 by Minister of Bepinas in May 2019. 3. TRICO proves a well-practice of project management and mutual accountability through its steering meetings, which discussed and agreed to its project management aspects including cost-sharing ratio, plan of operation, and stakeholder mapping. 4. TRICO contributes to strengthen the knowledge management of NCT by providing a platform to exercise of NCT's M&E tool. 5. TRICO meets the elements of Global Partnership Initiative for Effective Triangular Cooperation, which values the factors of country ownership, shared commitment, focus on results-oriented approaches, and inclusive partnerships and multi-stakeholder dialogues. Triangular Cooperation Afghanistan, Indonesia, Germany for the economic empowerment of women, stronger partnerships, and continuous efforts on empowering women towards sustainable development.